Hi there everyone. Uh, I wish I could say good morning, but it's uh, already the afternoon because I forgot that this was uh, the time to do May's isolation pub session, but uh, better late than never. So I'm recording it now and uh, it'll be with you slightly later in uh, the Sunday than it usually is. Um, uh, so sorry about that. Anyway, uh, yes, uh, once again I've decided to turn my isolation pub session shed into a pub. Cheers everyone. And um, I'm going to do some more tunes with you. Uh, so yes, um, the first tune we're going to do is uh, one that I've recently uh, discovered. Um, it's called Saltash. Um, <clears throat> it's so recent it's not in any of my tune books and it's not that widely available on the internet but um, if you search for Saltash tune on Google you should be able to find the dots for it um, and uh, yeah it's a fairly simple little affair anyway so you shouldn't have much trouble picking it up by ear there aren't too many notes in it and then after that tune uh, I'm going to go into a tune called William Irwin's Modal Hornpipe which you might know as Barbara Allen. It appears in other collections as Barbara Allen. Um, it's available in my tune book, Forage Music, my traditional tune book, um, which you can buy on my web shop, should you so desire. Um, so yeah, let's get straight into it. Uh, Saltash and William Irwin's.
there you go. Uh, a couple of tunes uh, to wake you up. Um, <laughs> I normally say that because it's the morning. It's not the morning today. And you could be watching this at any time. That's the thing about videos. Um, okay, so uh, yes. Um, part, part of the reason why I um, was slightly out of sequence is I've been away doing stuff recently. Um, I've been uh, away in the recording studios for the last... Uh, earlier part of the week just gone and um, very exciting indeed actually I've been uh, recording a new album I've recorded a new album pretty much with uh, John Bowden Spires and Bowden album um, I've got the photos done and it's all very exciting uh, so really feels like things are actually starting to move this year now um, also uh, I've completely re-updated my gig diary uh, on the website which uh, you can visit here to see what gigs I'm doing there you go should be a thing there is there a thing there uh, and uh, that's all the gigs that are supposed to be happening over the summer provided everything goes to plan and it looks really nice and busy in August so uh, hopefully plenty of live music um, to happen this year uh, but yes so uh, <laughs> That's my news. How's everyone doing here? Everyone all right? Um, there should be people around me by this point. If there's not, then you're all obviously out enjoying this amazing weather we've been having. Not. Uh, <laughs> I've been trying to grow things this year in the allotment and garden like uh, I did last year. Um, but the weather isn't really playing ball. Um, the plants still think it's sort of February or March or something out there. Uh, apart from the weeds, they, they love it. <laughs> So, but yeah, um, okay, uh, I need to think of another tune to do. I did have one. Oh yes, there you go. Um, uh, I'd like to play one um, that's a bit more gentle for the second one. Um, and uh, again, it's not in my tune books because it's written by someone else. But uh, this is one of those interesting tunes that's got a known composer, but it's... Uh, so long ago that it's kind of out of copyright and in the public domain. Um, this was written by Turlo O'Carolan, so just often just known as O'Carolan, who was a, an Irish blind harpist and composer and wrote some absolutely stunning tunes. And this is um, a waltz called Fanny Power. Um, uh, and it's uh, a great name, obviously, uh, named after um, one of his patrons I think um, and uh, yeah this is one that uh, I certainly remember being played a lot in uh, sessions at the Elm Tree and the Half Moon in Oxford um, and uh, it's a very beautiful little tune so you'll definitely find the dots for this if you need it or plenty of videos of other people playing it possibly more simply than I am uh, in fact when I was looking to make sure I had all the notes correct for this one there, there were lots of um, a fiddle tutorial video showing you exactly where to put your fingers and things like that not that any of you need that but uh, yes so this is Fanny Power
there you go. Um, uh, Fanny Power by O'Carolan. And um, uh, you may have noticed in that uh, last phrase uh, I made a mistake that was noticeable. Uh, that means you all definitely have to send in videos of yourself playing along now because the brilliant thing about sessions is um, uh, we cover up each other's mistakes. I've learned that definitely in playing around sessions for all the years I've done it and also um, in putting these together. Um, you might not be happy with the parts that you send me in but uh, once everything gets kind of averaged out uh, then... <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to leave that one in. Uh, I think if it was a, a dreadful mistake, sometimes I might have re-recorded it. But uh, that's not really the um, the point of these sessions. It's the, just the fun of playing together. And uh, if stuff like that happens, it happens. Uh, it's quite annoying. But, uh, but I'm going to leave it in because uh, hopefully it will encourage more people to have a go at sending their stuff in because it can happen to anyone. Um, so there you go. Uh, signing off for another one of these um isolation pub sessions until next month uh do go and check out the gig list um and uh if you want to find out more about what's going on with spies and Bone, i'll obviously be putting stuff up on my social media channels but they we have our own duo at spires and Bowden twitter um spires and Bowden official facebook page uh our own website so all those things you can um if you want to follow uh, all the latest news, it'll be on there first. Okay, cheers everyone. See you next week. Bye.